Here's one way on how to make your work available for your students over the summer. First thing you want to do is create a collection. To create a collection, you're going to need to go to your resources. And when you click on resources, the next thing you want to do is this: go to the, this brown folder with the green plus. You're going to click it. And you're going to choose Add a Collection, which is how that works. And you're going to title it. So you might want to do something like 2019 to 2020, like that. And then you would click Create. So that's the first step, is to create a collection. The next thing you want to do is go back to your course. So I'm not going to hit Create because I've already made this collection. The next thing you want to do is go back to your course. You can either copy the course, the entire thing, which I would recommend doing just so you have a copy of your whole course, or you can copy the folder. If time is an issue, simply copy the folder and save it to your resource. To do that, you're going to come back to your, your course and to the right of the folder you want to move, which would be your school closure or final six weeks folder. You would come here and you would choose save to resources. When it choose Save to Resources, the next thing you want to do is come up here. And you'll notice this says Home for My Collection. If I click this toggle arrow, or drop down arrow, you'll now see the collection I just created. You'll choose that collection. And then after you're done, you'll hit Save a Copy. Now, you could do that for simply one folder. If you want to copy the entire course, you would come up here to where it says Options. And here you would choose Save Course to Resources, and you're going to repeat the steps I just showed you, which is uh, your collection will show up. You want to find the collection you just named and create it, and so it would be this one. Choose it, and then you would hit the Submit button, and then it'll save your work. The next thing I would recommend you do is go to your School Closure folder. So again, on the WAS website, this is the link for WAS school closure stuff. You'll click this. And then when you click this, you'll come to the screen that has all the folders on it. And I'm just going to, for the sake of time, I'm going to come over here to my document. I have a folder called Tool, which is on that instructional closure form. And then what you want to do once you're inside of that folder is you want to click the plus sign to make a new document. So you hit plus and you'll choose a Google Doc. When you're inside of the folder and you choose this, this document you're creating is going to have the same share permissions as your folder, which is what you want. It should be anyone with the link can view. And so when I click this, it's going to create a new document inside of that folder. And then what I would do for that new document, so mine looks like this. I just uh, put a title at the top, and then you could put whatever type of information you want to give whoever views this right there. And then I eventually went back and copied the link from my copied course. And to get the, this link right here, here's what I did. I went back to my course uh, in Schoology, and then I went to Resources. And then once I went to Resources, I'm going to navigate to that collection. It always defaults to your home one, and so what I'll have to do is come over here to the left, click this button, and now you'll notice that that entire course I copied is right here, if you chose to do that. And then the stuff that I want to move folder, which would have been my school closure or six final six weeks folder, that's also right here. Whichever one you want to do, you're going to simply click on the link and it's going to take you to the page. So I just want the folder, so I'm going to left click here. And then I'm going to copy this link up top using control C. And then I'm going to come back to my document. And I'm simply going to paste it in right here. And that's all you need to do in order to move your stuff. 
The reason we have to do this workaround is when your course is archived, students cannot access the course. And so what you're really doing is creating a copy of your course or folder, which will stay live in your Schoology course that you have. Um, actually, I should say it will stay live in your resources. And then you're linking to your resources, and that's what students would be able to access over the summer. You can click on the links and make sure uh, all that stuff is what you want. But this is the workaround that we have currently for Schoology. Thanks.